go, my ponies. Go and spread the word that the Byzantine Empire is back. We're here to liberate you. Hello, everybody. My name is Yojimbo XD, and welcome to the channel. And today, we're back with more Hearts of Iron 4. I wanted to stick with the theme of bringing back old empires and try and reform the Byzantine Empire's Greece and get a few more achievements along the way, which I will explain more in detail here in a moment. But first, if you are new here and you like this kind of content, I would appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more Hearts of Iron, go ahead and hit that like button and I will make more. All right, let's get into the video. As I said, welcome back everybody. We will be continuing our quest to get every achievement in the game today as Greece. There's a few more achievements we can get as Greece. This mostly revolves around reforming the Byzantine Empire. If we take out Turkey and a few other of the puppets, we should be able to get a few achievements. But the hardest one of this is definitely going to be Bad Romance, where we have to reform the empire and then puppet Italy, Romania, and Russia. That I think will be the hardest part of this entire run. But I think without too much further ado, I think it's better to show not tell so I'll explain what we're doing as we go along. We have Iron Man mode on and we have historical focus on as well so let's get into it. Yep so here we are in Greece home to famous philosophers such as Aristotle, Diogenes, and great conquerors such as Alexander the Great and also home to crippling debt. We're going to try and form the Byzantine Empire and knock down some people along the way but the first thing we need to do in order to do that is arrest our king so we can go down the left side of the focus trace. And I think right at the start we're gonna go down our economy focus because we really need to rush manpower. Also, we need to research trains at the start. Apparently, Greeks do not understand trains or technology in general. They start off pretty backwards. All right, so we're gonna open foreign subsidies, and while we're doing that, we're going to boost our relationship. We need 80 relationship with all these people, and they'll give us an extra civilian factory, so we can get four this way. And just like the good Greeks we are, we're going to ignore this tab and not pay our debts. Most of these people won't be alive soon anyway, so you don't have to pay a debt to a dead man. And there, we got four more military factories. I think I said civilian, I meant to say military factories. And we're gonna put all this into making guns for what we have planned. Now that we've gotten down to free trade, we're going to start going down our main political focus tree. Start trying to go fascist as soon as possible. Here, let's get the extra spy slot as well, why not? It's not what I did in practice, but mix it up a little bit. Keep it interesting for myself. All right, and we're now going to make a new template that is just a single cavalry division, and we're going to make a ton of them. We'll see what we're doing here in a moment. Just gonna train a few cavalry divisions. You can also ignore this faction management too. You don't really need to bother with it. And we're just gonna keep going right down the middle of the tree. And I'm also going to switch our doctrine to superior firepower. I just like that one better. First of the cavalry are starting to appear. My majestic unicorns. Soon, soon, my majestic unicorns. You will be able to run free in the hills of Italy. All right, and uh, you can pick from one of these three to get to the next focus, but I like Theban warriors because we're gonna need to hold the line against Turkey while we deal with Italy and Albania quick. It's gonna be a two front war. And no, uh, we're gonna let the EEE do whatever they want. We need the fascists to take control of the country. And eh, let them plunder, let them do whatever they feel like. I really don't care. I got more important things to worry about, like horses. Negotiations with the EEE. We want the ghosts of the past will not return to haunt us again. We want the fascists to be on our side. We want them to be friendly. All right, the convention is on. Uh, do not invite the French or the British because they will just say no because you have fascists in charge and you'll just get a stability hit. So just invite Italy. That instantly cancels this focus and auto-completes it. All right, now next we have to take horror and fear, which will immediately start a war with Turkey and Romania will get dragged in with it but we will just hold the line there with what we have here and it should be fine all right the eee launch a coup we must answer for our own failures so this will switch us over to fascists we have this man in charge who is he looks like a man who knows what's about to happen He's just like looking at it like, oh shit, here we go. Oh, and we need to start justifying on Albania now. Also, while we're justifying on their person that, uh, that Italy's guaranteeing, hey Italy, can I have access to your country real quick? Thanks. Here we go, the war with Turkey has begun. All right, let's get the Navy out just so we don't get naval invaded. All right, and then we're definitely gonna go for reviving the double-headed eagle next. We finished the revive the double-headed eagle. Now we're going to do, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one, this focus. All right, we want to reform our Roman Empire. We want to relive the Roman dream like it was back in the day. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to take back Italy. And to do that, we're gonna go through Albania. And 
Let's see how our horses like living in Italy. Let's see how fast we can capitulate them. And they got an achievement for it. As you can see, this strategy relies on getting as many victory points as fast as you can. And by starting your cavalry divisions inside Italy's territory, they immediately capture this area. So hopefully we just need to push out them out of these last few cities and we can immediately capitulate them. And we'll do some force attack. And there goes Albania. And hey, there's our first achievement of the night. Freedom or death. As Greece liberate Albania while being at war with Italy. So we did that first. Now we just need to finish off Italy. Go, my ponies. Go and spread the word that the Byzantine Empire is back. We're here to liberate you. Uh, Regino del Sud spawned. I was hoping this wouldn't happen. Okay, good. So part of this is annoying that if this little side faction spawns while you're in the middle of taking Italy, it could screw up the achievement because I'm not sure if you puppet it. Yeah, none of these look like Italy. Then you just break these off into their constituent pieces. And I don't know if that counts for the achievement. So this was one of the things I was worried about, but I kept the territory and I guess they capitulated in the deal too. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to just annex everything and then I'll release them as Italy when I'm done. But I will keep a few pieces for myself. We got what we could in the peace deal, which was everything minus Ethiopia, and I think, yeah, we got a few ships to play with. I don't think we'll have to worry about Turkey's navy anymore, uh, but like I promised, we are going to release Italy because one, I don't have the manpower to occupy, and two, it's part of the achievement. My beautiful unicorns, you were magnificent, but unfortunately, your time and your usefulness is now over, and I need my guns and manpower back, so I will keep the ones who earned merit, and the rest of you will be sent to the glue factory, because we are going to have to build a new army to go deal with Turkey. How many did we take down? Yeah, that is a a good kill death ratio and congratulations you've all survived the italian campaign and now you all get to be real troops just have a bit of a manpower issue also we're going to do the very greek thing and say nah to this debt because the french will be dead soon and the british hate us already and the italians are ours so what are they going to do about it right and one of the things that will also help us get some of our manpower back is now we can have italy do our garrison work for us that's more of a you job, Italy. Take care of it. And I like this one. Clear the slums. We're gonna get all the poor people to fight in our army. You'll run out of manpower before I do, Turkey. Well, actually, Italy, uh, I want to speed up this invasion, so if you could help me out with that, I'd appreciate it. There we go. Made it through. Now we need to start encircling them, because I'm almost certain they're out of manpower. Or will be very soon. And if we start encircling their divisions, they can't replace them. Alright, there we go. I think we're finally starting to break out now. Italy's help. Just don't tell them that. Got roads back. Oh, I was hoping to get some encircled there, but I got a few encircled over here. We made it over the divide. Here we go. Linked up with our forces on the other side. Now if we can just stretch their lines out. Oh, okay. Can we just run free now? We may have the big breakthrough we were waiting for. Any casualties are they up to? Up to 31. They're up to 10 times that amount. They appear to have most of their army pinned over here at the moment. Or what's left of it. Oh, you didn't want to make the capital Batman? Well, I guess you'd just rather capitulate instead. Hey, I captured... Oh, wait a minute. That wasn't even an uh, achievement I thought I was going to get. But hey, I'll take it anyways. I captured the Bosporus, and all I got was this lousy achievement. As Greece or Bulgaria own both sides of the Bosporus, as Turkey subjugate both Greece and Bulgaria. Alrighty, now we do need to finish off Romania. So we're going to take some of our finest troops, give them some promotions real quick, and then throw them at Romania. All right, I can see their troops moving around on the shore. That means their organization is probably low. We're gonna try and push through this province as quick as we can. Let's launch the naval invasion and see how it goes. We have the ships in position, the air force is in position. This is our best chance and we will force attack. All right, our troops have landed and we're immediately getting attacked. We'll keep trying to push and encircle these areas while we get everyone else over here now. Hold the line while I bring in reinforcements. Oh my goodness, finally breaking out of this encirclement, I think. We need to spread out their lines. Oh my god, I've been stuck here for a bit. Not what you want to have happen. All right, finally out, though. I think we can finally start punching through their lines. Oh god, just make propaganda. Lie to the people. I'm in the middle of something. Tell them I'm in the bathroom. I'll deal with them later. Oh yeah, and I could do this. I forgot to do this. This will core it and uh, give us a lot more manpower. Boom! Byzantine Empire and new flag. Hey, there we go. There's two more achievements. I swear I'm not a Byzantophile. As Greece formed the Byzantine Empire. And the other one we got was Istanbul is not Constantinople again. As Greece capture Istanbul and rename it to Constantinople. Yeah, there's two more achievements we unlock and we will keep our war with Romania going and try and make it number five. Push holes wherever you see them. Just encircle them, encircle them, just run. 
Oh yeah, now we're getting big breakthroughs. Get over the Carpathians, get over these mountains. Oh shit, circle me. Rescue that units and while doing it, encircled the tank unit. Nice, there's eight units encircled right there. So that's all you gotta do. Just keep encircling them. Look for any opportunity. They're also up to a high number of casualties and I've only been here for like a few months. Nice, we're just gonna puppet them and we'll take their fleet as well, as is tradition. There we go, we have two powerful puppets and we've taken down Turkey, so I think we're in a great spot. And we're just gonna build a few extra forts along the border with Russia. And I'm almost certain we're going to lose Bessarabia because my puppet is a coward, but they also don't wanna drag me into war. So, you know, it is what it is. I could beat up on the Axis, but I kinda want them to beat up on the Soviets for me. And I know the allies won't do it for me, so I need Germany too. Dang it, Hungary took a bite out of my puppet. And then so are the Soviets. All right, and now we finally have all the modern research for aircraft. We can start making those and we can make some really good fighters. And now let's make some CAS. And we have enough stability that we can befriend the communists too. Why not? Everyone's welcome in our new Roman empire, as long as they join the army. Spy died, but that's okay. I got a better one. Yep, yeah, and then they go taking Bessarabia. You punks. Well, Bulgaria's in the Axis, so that means we probably need to go to war with the Soviets soon. So the Axis doesn't declare war on us. These will be our future allies. And because we befriended the communists, we can get this guy gives us extra division recovery rates. So now we should have a lot. Our army should be pretty awesome and ready to go. And we're also going to request assistance with industrialization from the Italians. So I don't think they're going to say no to this. Oh, hey, we can actually join their faction now. Should we do it? Tell me when they're going to do the focus and it'll prevent them from attacking me. And I don't think I necessarily have to go to war with them. So you know what? I'm going to do that now just to be on the safe side. And that way I'll also know when Barbarossa is going to start. Air innovations. No. Oh, fine. You won't get into this war? I'll make you get into this war. No. What's this? War with the Allies? No, I don't think so. I'm not interested. But I am interested in pulling you into a war with the Soviets because you're too much of a coward to do it yourself. Send the big ships over that we stole off Italy to guard the Black Sea so they can't naval invade us. All right, let's do this. I want to have third Rome. Come on, Germany, they're off their border. Go get them, buddy. Oh, geez, you have this mess down here you haven't cleaned up yet. Well, good luck with that. I'm not making any progress in the east, but I am making it through the Caucasus, which is great. All right, we got the Soviet cipher. Let's use that. We'll strike while the iron is hot. Almost got all these units down here encircled. Nice, there we go. There we go, got a bunch of units encircled down here. There we go, got a bunch encircled there. How many are they up to already after taking the Caucasus? Almost a million. And I'm gonna need to build some supply lines. Oh yeah, definitely gonna need to build supply lines pronto. All right, we have some supply over here now, and we're going to try and push because they don't. Let's do some encircling. Let's let's start taking bites out of them. I think we're going to have to do that strategy to take them down quickly. Make sure we have the planes keeping up. There we go. Got, there's one encirclement. As long as we're patient, we can take them down. There we go. There's more encirclements. Just anywhere I can see a nice little weird fold in their line. Man, they're just killing my spies left and right, though. And yeah, let's get Italy in here too. They have 44 divisions. We can use those. Just looking for more opportunities to encircle them. There we go, making pushes in Romania now as well. Give us back Bessarabia, you son of a bitch. There we go, now we're starting to fold them in. More encirclements. Just keep encircling them. I'm just gonna say that a hundred million times because I'm gonna have to make a hundred little encirclements to take them down. How's the air war looking? Yeah, we're shredding them there too. They have a lot of planes, but ours are better. Hey, we finally linked up. Let's send in our next army to help do the finishing blow. Kills are rising quickly. Broke the Soviet cipher again. Let's spam that. Anything to help end this war quickly. There goes Moscow. Uh, we're just stuck in no supply hell. Back to having to do encirclements. Oh, Germany. Oh, Germany. I gotta finish this war soon, Germany. This army over here helped take Leningrad. Oh, Germany, you need to stay alive longer, buddy. Oh, thank God. That was a freaking slog. And it was a race to the finish because Germany's gonna die. All right, let's pop what we can. We don't need everything. We just need enough. You don't need this much Lebensraum. You're about to die. Knock it off. Well, that's all I'm going to get. Germany's going to take the rest, but they'll be dead soon anyways. And it don't matter because I think that's all I need for the achievement. Hey, and there it is. Bad Romance. 
restore Byzantium, have Italy, Romania, and Russia as subjects. So there we go. There is the fifth and final achievement for the night. And boy, that was a roller coaster. Germany was, you could see, imminently about to die, and I had to finish the Soviets off, so I finished with barely the nick of time. Uh, but yeah, that is five achievements. Not since Ethiopia, this time for Africa, have I struggled so much with an achievement. This one was brutally hard and took a ton of practice, but it was a lot of fun, and look at it. It's awesome. I'm glorious. I got five achievements out of it, so that is a big win for me. I personally, I'll just take it after it's been a long, exhausting night. And you know what? Since we won the war, and since Germany's not going to be alive much longer, I think we should just leave. Sorry, Germany. I'm not friends with Nazi losers. Good luck with your war, though. Uh, but this is where we will leave it off. If you watch this to the end, thank you so much. If you like what you saw, you can always hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to see more Hearts of Iron, hit the like button, and I will make more of it. All right. Have a great night, everyone.